Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan Sullivan, Director of Parish Ministry, Services, and Catechesis for the Diocese of Lafayette in Indiana. And I thought I'd take a few minutes to talk a little bit uh, to um, bounce something off of uh, something that happened at our Adult Faith Formation Symposium about two and a half weeks ago. Joe Paprocki of Loyola Press was one of our major speakers at that event. And in his opening address to uh, those gathered, he walked us through paragraph 75 of the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults. Uh, the text that tells us how to do the catechesis and the liturgical rites uh, of adults entering into the Catholic Church. Uh, he focused on paragraph 75 because of the Church's conviction in many of her catechetical documents that the adult catechumenant is the inspiration or the model for all catechesis. It kind of gives us the starting principles um, to think about how we do catechesis in all of our parish programs, whether it's for adults or youth. It gives us the patterns that we should be modeling all our catechesis on. It gives us uh, the principles that we should be trying to instill in everything that we do when we try to pass on our Catholic faith. So Joe talked about paragraph 75, which he said, uh, and which I agree and many other people say, is one of the most important paragraphs of any church document uh, that's been written because it gives us this pattern for thinking about uh, how the church does catechesis and as a result, what in fact the church is. Uh, so paragraph 75 talks about kind of the curriculum of catechesis by giving us four different pillars for that. So the church's doctrine, uh, you know, what the church teaches, of course, uh, but also uh, entrance into the communal life of the church, how to be a Christian among other Christians, um, participation in the liturgical rites of the church, uh, not just in the RCIA, but thinking also about the sacraments, the liturgy, the hours, the, the whole public prayer of the church. Uh, then also there is uh, the apostolic works of the church, how we witness to uh, the life of the church uh, through the works of mercy out in the world. So those four things, doctrine, community, liturgy, uh, and the apostolate, serve as kind of the curriculum for catechesis. Now the problem, as Joe talked about, and which we see in, in a lot of places, is we tend to focus on the doctrine. We tend to focus on the textbook. We tend to focus on the teaching uh, without really thinking about how the faith is lived and helping people to learn how to live the faith, not just in the classroom, but in their homes, out in the world, which is what those other uh, pillars really talk about, the liturgical life of the church, the community, the, the apostolate. Uh, those are about really living the faith, how we interact with one another as Christians, how we act with other people in the world, how we advocate for uh, justice and mercy through social policies and things like that. All of that should ideally be part of the curriculum of our catechesis. So Joe did a wonderful job uh, of kind of walking us through that. Uh, and if you weren't able to attend the symposium, we actually just posted uh, all the videos of the major addresses and the audio from the breakout sessions on the diocesan website. If you go to dol-in.org slash adult symposium, all one word, uh, you'll see all the videos there uh, and some other resources as well. So I really invite you to go and take a look at that. The thing I just wanted to point out uh, today in this short video is that in addition to paragraph 75, which again, vital paragraph for our work as catechists in the church, there's another paragraph that I also think is really important because it gives us the goal of catechesis. So paragraph 75 kind of gives us the curriculum, if you will, but paragraph 78 gives us what is the goal of catechesis. What is it we're aiming to? And I'm always a big believer that if you're, you're starting out a project, Start with the end in mind. Start with what our goal is. Know what the outcome is going to be, because that's going to then influence how we actually do the work of whatever project we're doing. So in the project of catechesis, I think it's useful to start with paragraph 78 of the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, because it gives us kind of that goal of what, what the outcome we're looking for is. So uh, paragraph 78 says, and it's speaking here of catechumens, but again, if we think of the RCIA as the inspiration for all catechesis, substitute catechumens for the faithful or anyone in our our catechetical programs. So paragraph 78 says, the instruction that the catechumens receive during this period should be of a kind that while presenting Catholic teaching in its entirety, also enlightens faith, directs the heart toward God, fosters participation in the liturgy, inspires apostolic activity, and nurtures a life completely in accord with the spirit of Christ. That is our goal as catechists. That is what we who work in the teaching ministries of the church should be aiming for. Not just an intellectual knowledge of the faith, not just helping people understand the doctrines and the dogmas and, and all of that. As important as that is, and it is important, 
Uh, but that's not the only thing, because it is possible to intellectually understand the faith without living the faith, without having a relationship with the Trinity, without knowing how the Holy Spirit is working in our lives. We need all of that in addition to the doctrine. So as we prepare to start our new catechetical year, uh, as we uh, begin this new school year with our Catholic schools, you know, think about how is it in my catechesis? How is it in my evangelization? That I'm helping people not just understand what it is the church teaches, but helping them also to do these other things, to um, place a importance on attending Mass on Sundays, on doing works of mercy in our families, in our communities, um, to have our hearts directed towards God, to really, um, you know, thinking of the heart as a compass, you know, engaging in practice that's going to orient our heart in the right direction towards the kingdom. Uh, of really trying to conform our entire lives to the example that Jesus Christ has given us. All of that has to be a part of our catechesis, which is why catechists aren't just people who know the faith, but the people who love the faith, who live the faith, who are witnesses to faith. Uh, you know, our, our theme for Catechetical Sunday this year is about enlisting witnesses for Jesus Christ. Uh, all of us who are called to the catechetical ministry are, are called to be those witnesses. We've been enlisted as witnesses for Jesus Christ. And so that should be an integral part of our catechetical processes is, is being witnesses to Jesus Christ, being witnesses to the faith, living the faith, praying the faith, knowing the faith, uh, all of those things in a continuum. So uh, hope that's helpful in thinking a little bit about uh, catechetical ministry as we start this year. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or if there's any way that our office can help you, please feel free uh, to contact us. You can go uh, to our contact page and, and send us an email or just send a, an email to me directly, call me directly. We're happy to come out to parishes and help however we can. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day and God bless you all in your ministries.